Well, hello, friends out there in YouTube land. Robert Ham here with Robert Ham Photography. Today, we are continuing our roll review for the Mint TL70, this beautiful camera that I'm using right here. Absolutely love it. I also want to remind you, you know, that you can use, you can get free films for life from Mint Camera just by uploading an image of yourself with the Instaflex or the Instaflex itself. You can use that through your cell phone. And then as long as you get 30 likes on it, you can submit those images. And once you have four images with 30 likes each, Mint Camera will go ahead and send you a free roll of film. And how cool is that? That's really, really cool. It looks like you can get black and white or you can get color, whichever your choice. I'd like to let you know that although Mint Camera has sent me this TL70 to review, every image that you see I've taken have been with my own dollar bill. So let's move this gorgeous piece of machinery away. And let's get down to it. Uh, I'm up to roll eight, cartridge eight. So of course, here's roll number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and we've talked about one through four. We're now moving on to five, and let's just dig right into it. Five was a very important roll because five is where I had started using reference images I built from four and actually started making portraits. I even played a little bit with some high key stuff. And let's just go over it, as you can see, I can save my cartridges and use them as little film holders. It makes it very, very simple. And 50, this was um, the, the last shot on the roll. 49, okay, great. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, uh, 43, 42, 41. Okay, so I gave away an image. And that's, that's something that you're going to find pretty standard. The minute you start creating work with this, people definitely want a picture. And so um, I don't have any problem giving friends and family out there photos. I, I like to make friends and you guys have heard those stories. If you haven't heard the story about Kai, go check out the picture of Kai when I was at Flaming Japan. A gentleman who I has been making my sushi for many years. Uh, he never spoke to me, just the head nod. I thought he was upset with me or didn't really like me much. Maybe, I don't know. Turns out he just didn't speak much English and he was very self-conscious about it. And I didn't find that out until I actually took his photo. I will tell you that whole story. You can go read it over there. But I took his picture. I've been photographing Kai making my sushi for three years, and I thought I was just an annoyance to him. Turns out I learned how to speak Chinese through a picture. How great is that? I don't really speak Chinese, but the TL70 was an item that helped me make friends. Okay? I love it. And that's why I don't have 10 images here. It's because I make friends and I give them away. Let's look. So right now we are still at Red Wing Park and I've got it knocked down. We are on Mixed Shade F8 minus EC. Look at this gorgeous image right here. Now, don't forget we are looking at an image of an image on a screen. So their faces may appear slightly washed out. They are not. The thing I like about this, it's beautifully in sharp, great focus, beautiful bokeh in the background. The TL70 uh, lens does a great job at producing a good image. And you'll notice this is what I would consider a reference cartridge. Look at this. This is all excellent work. Here's the man that John, uh, you've heard the story of John. He came over to actually help me take these photos so I could be in the picture with my kids. He is the gentleman whom I gave a photo away to, which is why I don't have um, 10 images in this role. Look at this. Once again, the idea that we're looking at is just absolute consistency. Now, I want you to notice something about the coloring of these shots. Absolutely excellent. Looks great. This was at Red Wing Park. This is at, right behind my house. Look at the golden hour light that's hitting Ashland. And she absolutely looks radiant here. She's just lit up. It's beautiful. And once again, check it out. We are in a mixed or indirect shade, I should say. There is a difference between direct, indirect, and mixed shade, and these terms have a meaning. So make sure that you check out one of my videos in order to understand what that means. But here we are in indirect shade, F8 minus exposure compensation number 45. You can see why I'm so excited. With results like these, you could be shooting portraits at the next uh, staff event for your friends and family. It's absolutely great. Continuing on along, you're going to see some crazy photos. These my wife took these pictures, and she's not very good at, uh, <laughs> she has a hard time with composure, as you can see, um, and that's not a difficulty of the camera, it's just a difficulty of her. So it does show you that someone that's not used the camera before, when they put someone and start framing, they can have a, a difficult time. However, it didn't take her but a couple shots and we got it right. But you know what I've got right here? I've got a really cool collage of Ashlyn and me. And that's not something that I have a lot of, so I really enjoy these photos. Other than the composition, look at the beautiful soft blue in the background. We still have quite a bit of detail. 
Here's the thing that the TL70 is doing that I want you to really, really notice. Take an image like this. Okay, outdoors during the daytime, you've got about 17 different EV uh, from your highest brights to your darkest darks. Okay, and so here the TL70 is rendering excellent detail. Now, it can do this because of two reasons, but one is the most important. The lens is a big lens. The lens has a very soft contrast curve. So even though there's quite a bit of dynamic range in this print, even though the scene has quite a bit of exposure value, a very large range of EV, the lens is still able to get the most out of this medium of film. Now, Fujifilm, Instax, you're really gonna find about 10 EV, and maybe, maybe you can get up to 10 uh, stops worth of dynamic range. I think that we're seeing it here. I can see the detail in her shirt. I can see the detail in her hair. I can see her eyes through her glasses. I can see my eyes. I can see my mustache and everything. And then I can even see some detail on the tree bark in the background. And even though it's there, we still get some bokeh in the background. So that's what makes this lens and this camera different. You don't get this kind of detail with a smaller aperture. And you don't find this kind of detail with dynamic range with, um, I, at least I don't find this same kind of detail in other cameras, specifically the uh, Mini 90, which I use. Uh, I just think I get a lot more out of this. And that's a great thing. Now, these last two shots, I wanted to show you what shooting into and out of the light can look like, okay? So here we go. I was working some high key stuff and I wanted to shoot into the golden light that you saw coming on to Ashland earlier right here. So we know we're in the same spot. She is facing this way. This picture, she's facing that way if you were looking at it. So she's turned 90 degrees. She's turned so that she's sideways to the light. And now we've got some high key stuff going on sitting by the tree, which is pretty cool. Guys, I want you to notice something. Uh, I'm at f22, right? And I'm not experiencing a whole heck of a lot of vignetting. And that's important. I don't get it because I have set my aperture very, very carefully. So if you're experiencing vignetting, real deep vignetting at f22, uh, make sure you're setting your aperture nicely. And we even got managed to have a lens flare right there. Look at that. How cool is that? What an emotive pick. Now let's turn directly away from the light and shoot the opposite direction. We're shooting 180 degrees from this picture. So we're shooting the opposite way in this picture and look what happens to the light. So I've produced a lot of videos about reading the light and that's very important because you can go from a nice warm light to a cool light just by turning around if you're not careful. So you want to shoot with the light, not against it. And if you do shoot against it, shoot against it in such a way that you can get some high key or rim lighting effects. Guys, this has been an excellent role. I've had a wonderful time with this film, the TL70 is an absolute marvel. People love it when they see it. They want to use it all the time. They want to touch it. They want to hold it. You can make new friends with it. And I'm having an absolute blast. I hope that you've enjoyed this roll review of, uh, of course, my roll number five. And I've got a couple more coming your way. I want to thank you for watching. I want to remind you that I will catch you on the flip side. A like and a sub would be great. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.